Now guys, remember valuation is a horrible, horrible timing mechanism. Where can we find good deals in this market? Where is the low risk, high reward opportunities? And I do want to highlight Cisco Systems as this was my largest position. And we got in right around $44 to $45 a share. And we've had a substantial move up here as upgrades are coming in. Now the upgrades that are coming in are exactly what we've been talking about, that the opportunity for Cisco Systems is much larger than that's than the market's pricing in. When we think about the AI build out, Cisco Systems hardware is gonna be definitely needed, but now they have that software side with the acquisition of Splunk, making this a very, very sticky business model and very, very undervalued when we were looking at it trading around 12 and a half to 13 times forward earnings and a stock that does pay a nice dividend that was over a 3% yield at that point in time. And we also talked about Pfizer underneath $26 a share, and you would have had opportunities to accumulate Pfizer at those levels where it was paying over a 6% dividend. And I do think earnings have troughed here. I think we're, we've kind of seen the worst of Pfizer. I think it can only get better from this point in time. Now, of course, <laughs> we all know that they've definitely thrown the kitchen sink at us, and there could be more bad news ahead, but I tend to think that this was a great buying opportunity for Pfizer, and definitely in that value territory, much like we talked about with Cisco Systems. So in today's video, there's a couple names that I wanna talk through that I think are getting pretty interesting here. Well, this was actually a call out from one of the subscribers on the channel, and guys, feel free to leave names that you think are undervalued that have good opportunities, but Vale is one that popped up here, and it's definitely looking pretty interesting for multiple reasons, and let's go over why that is. Number one, valuation on the stock is pretty reasonable here, trading at five times earnings. Now, this is a stock that does trade for a depressed valuation, and it usually trades around six to maybe seven times forward earnings. So maybe it is a little undervalued here, but there was some headwinds with this stock because the majority of the business of what they do is selling iron ore. Now, this is a metals and mining industry that's really emerging markets with the largest client being in China. So we all know that China's had some problems and Valet's had some problems because that is the majority of their revenue. We can see the one year price. It was a $16 stock now trading between nine to $11 a share. So the thing I wanna point out here is we could be having a bottoming process in the stock from a technical standpoint. Now I'm gonna go over the fundamentals as well, but I wanna point out the technicals here. I believe we have a left shoulder that formulated here, a head that formulated here, and we're getting that right shoulder formulating here with the resistance points. We need to basically break above $12 a share, close above those levels, and that would kind of give us positive momentum in this stock. Now, the one thing I do want to point out with the stock, it is a very volatile, very cyclical type of business. You can see the price volatility all over the place here. And then when we bring out the chart even further, you get the volatility. So if you have a weak stomach, this is probably not going to be the best stock to look at here. But here's what I want to point out. They're projected to report earnings on 1024, and this is a very, very important earnings. We're gonna really see what is going on with the company. Has it found a bottom? Is there some stability building in here, or is this still a falling knife from a fundamental standpoint? And the odd thing is, is even though the stock's been selling off, we've been seeing some positive life with this one. Brazil's Vale post Q3 iron ore output of 5.5%. And they would have to go back to 2018 to kind of see this type of growth. So we're starting to see positive catalyst possibly pushing this stock in an upward direction and maybe start reapproaching that 13 14 dollar range now as of right now i'm not going to run an analysis on the stock but i will be doing an analysis the minute they drop earnings i'll start plugging it into my dcf models and getting an idea of where i'd be looking to possibly enter the stock based on what forward expectations are and but with that being said schwab doesn't have any coverage on the stock morningstar does have coverage with a four star rating when we pull up their analysis they did this analysis when the stock was trading around 11 dollars a share and thought fair value was sitting around 1350 so between nine and ten dollars this could be an interesting risk versus reward opportunity just by looking at what Morningstar is giving us and just by looking at kind of what the company is trading for and the possibility for growth. And this is a company projected to do a little over $2 of earnings pretty consistently. So it definitely seems like it's in fair value. The other thing I really like about this stock, and we've talked about this before, is that they do deploy capital extremely well. Return on equity is sitting at 24%. Return on invested capital sitting at nearly 15%. And this is a company that looks like it has growth opportunities ahead, trading at five times, six times forward earnings. Very, very interesting setup from an emerging market growth standpoint. So we want to line up the technicals somewhat with the fundamentals. And that's where I think Valet becomes interesting. It looks like a bottom is possibly formulating in the stock. Looks like the fundamentals are behind the stock as well with some growth opportunities and the stimulus of China. So I do think this one is actually becoming a pretty interesting setup here and has some decent upside. And I think the downside risk is not that bad. 
So the next stock I want to just touch on really quick is one we've talked about, and that's going to be Intel, ticker symbol INTC. This one's kind of just been all over the place. I think we can blame management for a lot of the woes that's taken place. And it's definitely stretching itself pretty thin, but I think it's there's multiple ways for this company to win. Now, we keep hearing companies want to take over Intel for a buyout, possibly. We know they're getting a ton of money from the government, and it's kind of like too big to fail at this point in time for Intel. Now, this one's a tough one to really put an evaluation on because they are losing market share, because it's going to be multiple years of, of probably hemorrhaging some money here in order to get back on their feet again and head, in the, and head this big ship in the right direction. So a lot of headwinds dealing with Intel, and that's where we have to start figuring out where does it make sense to possibly take a look at this company. You know, I think anywhere between $17 to $18 could make sense to take on the risk for Intel. Now, if they were to get now, if they were to get bought out, I believe they would get bought out between $35 and $40 a share. But where it makes sense to possibly take the risk as an investor, I think is sitting closer to that $17, $18 a share mark. Yeah, Schwab, Schwab has a D rating for the company. Morningstar has a three-star rating. Most companies have a hold to sell on Intel right now. And Morningstar believes $21 seems to be a fair market value. And I, that's why I can get behind $17, $18 a share behind the stock to build some safety in for yourself as well. Now, another one of our call-outs that's actually starting to show some life is ticker symbol SJM. That's going to be Smuckers. We have, so the 52-week low was sitting around 105. And you had multiple chances around 106, 107 to start building out a little position start building out a little bit of a position on this dividend aristocrat. And we can see here that it's starting to perform pretty well as of late. And so, you know, there are opportunities to find these value names. It's a matter of being patient, a matter of running your analysis, and those opportunities are coming, but it is definitely getting harder and harder every passing day as the market's making newer highs. I definitely think we're in some sort of melt up here. How long can it last? Nobody really knows, but as most of you know, I do think there will be a correction coming probably in the next year. Um, but that doesn't stop me from still looking at good deep value companies that have good management and earnings growth expectations around the corner. And so Smuckers was one of those ones where I definitely think it has the opportunity to outperform if you're able to get in at those levels. Now Schwab at these levels gives Smucker a D rating, basically a sell rating. And after that 20% move, I definitely think it's a hold at this point in time. I wouldn't be adding into this move. Um, but Morningstar does give it a three-star rating. They did the analysis when the stock was trading around $120 a share, and they believe fair market sitting around $128. And I tend to think that's fair market value. Between $120 to about $125 makes sense. And that's why I said, if you can get in around $100, $105 a share, factoring in that dividend yield, it's a, that's, a nice annually, that's a nice annualized rate of return. So at this point in time, I'm not gonna be adding anything into the portfolio. As most of you know, my two largest positions are Cisco and Pfizer. Do have some other smaller positions, but I've mainly been focused on building some cash here as I do think it's getting harder and harder to find those deals. But as I showed you on a company like Vale, there could be an opportunity here after earnings where I start averaging in a small position in that one as well, getting some exposure to emerging markets, getting some exposure to China. And that one seems pretty deeply discounted at these levels as well. So that one's piquing my interest. But other than that, guys, we will see you all in the next one.